Welcome to Creating Art with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you a few of my sketchbooks, um, and these are some of my early ones, and just to see uh, a fun way how the sketchbooks progress throughout the years. So mostly mine are done in watercolor and pen, and so let's get started. So this is my one of my first ones, and it was a moleskin, 135 pound cold pressed. All right, so I started off, um, I did a little uh, Birgit O'Connor Vimeo, learning how to paint sand. And you can see this is probably, you know, I'm going to share with you some things that are not very nice. Um, just because it's okay. It's, it's kind of fun to um, get a sense of where you've gone and what you've done. So I like to put my colors kind of out to the side. Sometimes I'll leave an edge. A little house behind my mom's. And then I kind of try to change it up a little bit. So, um, as I've changed, I've really, um, have, have started to write a lot more, and it kind of does help you to remember. I always try to date and uh, put the place that where I was painting it, but it does help you to remember things and trips that you've taken. So, it's a good way to pass the time in an airport when you are um, just sitting there. And this is... Um, I love to even copy artists. This is uh, one by George Post that I like to copy. It's good to kind of copy this sometimes how you get better. Here's uh, one of the missions in um, San Jose. I, that's the San Miguel mission. And there's the Santa Barbara mission. And this is, uh, if you've never been to Carpinteria Beach, one of the best beaches in the world. Uh, Santa Inez mission. And then of course, there's a lot of writing. This was on a little course that I took from a guy um, who was a really good painter. Um, this is not, not a, I don't know why I had that in there, but it's not very good. All right. So, as you can see, your style and everything kind of changes. It's fun to have different colors of pages to go through. A lot of mine is all taken in, um, of course, in California, because that's where I live. And there was a time when I was going out almost every weekend and really painting, just <clears throat> trying to get better at my painting before I started doing really large paintings. But um, it's even fun just to paint small things like that. I have no idea what that is. That's pretty ugly, though, right? And then... Um, and I had some blanks. So, all right, that's one of them. And then here is another one. And I <clears throat> sometimes like to put stickers on. So I like to kind of sometimes start out and I like to put things in here that you can um, un undo and figure out like I had, you know, dreams like, where am I going? What am I gonna do? <clears throat> and I like to use micron pens. This was kind of a fun, Thing that I just was kind of playing around with catch of the day I kind of did some fishes so just kind of having fun with my sketchbook and you know what do you want to create you'd have to pick out an animal and an object like a horse basket <laughs> um, and then here's another one of the missions so remember I did start off my kind of my whole watercolor career painting all of the missions so I actually did go and visit um, all of the missions and did of course did some paintings in my sketchbook and took lots of pictures and then sometimes when I am stuck oh, this was a trip to Chicago that for Frank Lloyd's right and I kept the my son went with me beautiful homes oh my gosh that was such a fun tour and then sometimes when you're stuck on an airplane and you want something you can just cut out their magazines and then paint it, try to make it look the same. So that's kind of always a fun thing to, um, you know, replicate. Um, you know, you just kind of get some inspiration. as a good way to pass the time. It's in Texas, actually. Fun stuff. Coffee pot. This was a sketchbook class that I did online. Another one on the airplane. Just kind of chasing it down. 
And uh, coffee shops are always a good place to sit down, um, especially if you're on vacation and you're early up. It's a fun one to do. Here's some of my things in my, um, that's my bag. I'm packing my travel bag. That's like gotten a lot of views on, on um, YouTube, which is kind of funny. And here's one for New Mexico that I also copied. I did not capture, I did not keep the um, page, but it says, oh, painted from a Southwest Airlines magazine, 417. So I don't know who took that picture. It's in Chicago. I love Chicago has tons of, um, oh my gosh, it's got so many fun things to go. Um, if you go to Chicago, take your sketchbook because the architecture is fabulous and the buildings are so fun. I mean, you cannot help but draw. I, I could just go to Chicago and draw. I just love all of the buildings and the activity and um, that's where, you know, I said the Jetsons lived there. I think that was just recently it had a movie that the Candy Man was in. It's like, oh. And that's just a fun thing. This is downtown San Mateo. It's always fun. Coffee, um, if you love coffee, there are so many great coffee bags to copy as well. This was my last mission that I went to go paint, San Gabriel Mission. And oh, this was a this Loomis house in San Pasadena that was also really cool. So I like to take notes so that I just kind of remember. Um, it, it is a walk through your life when you're going um, back through your sketchbooks. And it really does capture, you know, instead of photos, it's something that's a little bit more intimate. And, um, and fun, this was, a, was in Aruba. And then we, I did a lot of traveling that summer, so I kind of I write that in my travel books too, because sometimes I, don't, I forget. And so we had gone, my husband had gone to Germany on business, so we were able, I was able to go with them. And of course, Europe has so many amazing um, buildings to sit down and do, and then did a lot of writing in there. And I had to, had to remember I wrote everything down because otherwise I would have forgotten. That's in uh, the Brandenburg Gate, which was fun. And the airport, even the airport had fun lamps. So lots of good things um, just to work on and just to remember. Oh, this was when I went up to um, Yellowstone. That was so fun. Craters of the Moon is a really cool place to go. The guys are, you can't see it very well, but it is shooting up right there. The fishing bridge. Just a fun, fun thing to do. So, um, here I am. This is Horseshoe Bend Campground. And some things from when I was an artist in residence. So, at, um, and when I was in Big Horton Canyon. It was in 2017. I was an artist in residence there. So that's just a quick tour of uh, this little sketchbook that um, <clears throat> kept me busy and kept me full of just doing things. This is when I, I don't know why I had that, but that was in there. So lots of stamps, lots of memories. So always fun to go back. Um, this was a Stillman and Burn. This was, uh, I really do like these sketchbooks. They're at like 140 pound and you can just on both sides, color on both sides and you just never see it through. So that's good. All right. I hope you go out and create your own sketchbooks.